Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Jess and Miles and we're nearly two years into our journey around the world. We finished making our way down the beautiful coast of Croatia and have just come to a country we knew very little about but immediately fell in love with. Our road trip through the Balkans continues. Yesterday we crossed the border from Croatia into Bosnia and Herzegovina. And we're really excited to be getting started here at the Kravice waterfall. It was an early morning this morning but the place we're staying was just a short five minute walk from here. We can't see the waterfall yet, but we can hear it. So let's go check it out. of waterfalls that are around 80 feet high and stretch nearly 400 feet across. We have rainbows in the early morning light. It is surrounded by trees. It is absolutely beautiful and is a big bonus. You can even swim here. We knew we would be rewarded for getting an early start this morning. And while we were the first ones here, it is gonna make for a pretty cold swim. The good news is my body has gone completely numb. So I used to be on swim team when I was very young. So I was like, I'm gonna do a backstroke. And in my mind, I could just do it so nice and smooth. But I don't think that's what it looked like in real life. One of those expectations versus reality moments. So we've been asked several times what we plan to do after we're done traveling. If you don't know, Jess is gonna be trying out for the Olympic swim team. <laughs> Our special disease backstroke. <laughs> Our little hostess was so cute. We were just leaving and she ran out to give us this. So sweet. We're not really sure what it is, but we're pretty sure it's some kind of alcohol. We'll have to try it at lunch. But we are on the road and heading to Porchite. 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 I'm sure we're saying that wrong. We're actually headed to Mostar today and Porchite is right along the way. So we're stopping here for lunch. This is a small medieval town that sits along the banks of the Naritva River, and it is so cool. It still has the old city walls and a fortress right on top. It's only 11 o'clock, so it's still a little early for lunch, so we're just gonna walk around a little bit first. It is toasty. And by toasty, I mean sweltering. Whoa, so many archways. Shall we go in the tower? Of course. Let's go. I have, whoop, almost tripped. <laughs> I have wanted to go in one of these fortified towers since we were in Georgia. I am so excited. And it's nice and cool in here. <laughs> This is too cool. Does it keep going up? Yeah. Wow, you are up there. <laughs> it's still going up? Yeah. I'm at the top now, though. I gotta go join her at the top. <laughs> I think it's officially lunchtime. I'm calling it. There's at least one more fort to see, a mosque. 
so many things. But it's lunchtime. I'm really excited for this restaurant that we're going to based on a single photo that I found online. Oh, that's right. She showed it to me this morning. I thought it might be breakfast, but I think it's like a I salad with... I don't even know what it is. Maybe ranch. Probably not ranch, but some kind of white sauce. It looked delicious. <sighs> and that is what has led us here. So hopefully they still have it on the menu. <laughs> so it turns out the photo I saw online was a salad, but I am not mad about it. It's delicious. It has some kind of creamy homemade dressing that could pass as ranch. I like it. We were told we needed to try chavapi, which is a grilled sausage with mixed meats. And I'm gonna make a sandwich because that's what all the pictures show. Ooh, that's warm bread. Maybe some french fries, because why not? How does it compare? What do you think? <laughs> A plus. It was good. Can we do one of each? One lemon and one pomegranate? She was so sweet, we bought these frozen juices from her and then sat and chatted for a bit and then she gave us these cherries. Oh. Also, I'm so happy to be back in an affordable country. No kidding. <laughs> that lunch was, I think, $8, and this is about $2.50, so <laughs> yay for that. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herzegovina. Happy to be here, holy yes. cow. Okay, it is time to try our juices. I think they are thought out enough by now. Certainly wouldn't take long in this heat. Pomegranate first. That's the verdict. Mm, that's really, really good. Oh yeah, that melted quite a bit. <laughs> good stuff. Oh wow. I know. So we are stopping at one more town before we finish the drive to Mostar. We are headed to... We even asked the guy at the restaurant how to pronounce the name of this town and then we both forgot. Blagiu. Bla... Ah, Blagia. 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 I have no idea if we're saying that right or not. The Instagram monastery. Oh yes, Maz is thrilled. We can get a beer at one of the restaurants. I'm down for a beer at one of the restaurants. I have this thing about <laughs> going to a place. To take a picture. To chase a photo. We don't do that. Typically, we don't do that. Yeah. That's I what would, we're doing here. I would qualify going 10 minutes out of our way to this monastery as chasing a photo. No, I want to go to the fortress that's above the town. That's the number one driver behind this detour. Uh, I'm not so sure. They even will take you on a 30 second boat ride <laughs> from one side of the river into the mouth of the spring. <gasps> I think that's the that's the fortress. I see it. How cool is that? You're gonna eat your words later. <laughs> Okay, the setting of this monastery is pretty unbelievable. It is right up against this huge cliff face next to a crystal clear river flowing right out of a cave. But it's time to start making our way up to the fortress. I could use a cold swim like we had this morning right about now. We drank all of our water and those two juices we bought have completely melted and we've nearly drank all of those as well. Also, this trail is nice and steady not steep at all but it doesn't feel like we're getting any closer <laughs> no we're a lot further from our car yeah but it's just meandering along on these nice switchbacks there was an option that was straight up but we decided it was too hot for that so we'll get there eventually i'm not gonna lie i feel like i am absolutely melting right now but i'm following jess and she looks like she just got ready this morning in her pretty cotton dress Hair is all flowy, just walking up the hill like it's no big deal. I am dripping in sweat and I'm pretty sure my face is as red as a tomato, not from sunburn. That's just what it does with overheating. 
Okay, this fortress. Holy moly, we're gonna have to look up some information on this because this thing looks so well preserved. And we're currently standing in its shadow, which is nice. I'm just gonna stay here forever. <sighs> Let's go check it out. Okay. But hold on, shade for one more minute. <laughs> This castle reminds me of Bowser's castle in a video game. It has all those little teeth all along the top. Seriously, it's, it's like what you'd build out of Legos. This place is so cool. What's everybody doing down at the monastery? Nobody's even up here. Okay, Wikipedia, what do you have for me? It's loading. We'll be back after these short messages. This is sponsored by <laughs> where wherever you go, you won't have 4G. <laughs> That's so true. According to the interwebs, this fort is also known as Stepengrad. It was built on a beautiful karst hill 275 meters above sea level. We believe it was originally built in the fourth century and then built on and repaired a couple times since then. All I know is that it's amazing and beautiful and I am really glad we made the effort to come up here. We're done. <laughs> it has been a long day. I am so fried from the sun. <laughs> Mostar, here we come. Here we come. It has been a great day. Bosnia and Herzegovina, A plus, day one. Is it lunchtime yet? Not quite. We have more exploring to do. I'm pretty sure your watch just said it's properly lunchtime <laughs> and you just lied to the camera because you want to keep exploring. <laughs> Sometimes making these videos for only one or 200 people to see them feels a lot like pushing a turd up a hill. So if you've made it this far in this video and you have not subscribed to our channel yet, come on. He's only kidding. We appreciate every single view. But in all seriousness, this is the first time we had ever seen a dung beetle in the live and we found it incredibly entertaining. So we wanted to share. And if you've ever done anything that feels like pushing a turn up a hill, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Or any comment. We love comments. And you'll also notice that it's no longer hot outside because this video was done in July and it's now October. A lot's happened since then. More reason to subscribe. We got these fluffy jackets in Kyrgyzstan. We sure did. <laughs> Look what mine does. Thanks for watching. <laughs> comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. But definitely subscribe. <laughs>